What's up, guys? Tim Austin with Drag Boss Garage. Yeah, you're going to like this episode. Short and sweet, but to the point. We don't see many close to 800 horsepower Clevelands. Now, this is a, based on the 351 Cleveland block. It's a little bigger than that. It's 427 cubic inches. It runs a 4-inch stroke with Oliver 6-inch rods. It's based on a 4125 bore block. Stevan told me that he called it the bent arrow. It's the arrow Cleveland block, but I guess there's some issues with machining them to get them right. He spent a lot of time getting it perfect, and it shows. So I appreciate this, Stevan, for sharing this with our viewers here at DBG. Also, Simon, that owns the car. I've had other videos with him. So I'll show you what his car looks like. You'll probably remember it. Yeah, it doesn't look that nasty, does it? But it makes 793 horsepower at 7,400 RPM and 603 foot-pounds at 5,500 the heads are Trick Flow 2 Vs with a matching intake. They're ported by Race Engine Development. So we've got to give a big shout out to Alex and Duzan. They have a 2.135 intake. They flow only 360 CFM. So get this, it's running dished CP pistons at 14 to one. It's got a big comp cam roller, 750 thousandths inch lift. They run it on MS-109. And I believe that's an unleaded oxygenated fuel. It also runs a vacuum pump. You can see it right there. And he said he runs it at 14 inches. So it's going into Simon's 3,300 pound 1970 XW Falcon. And there's a look right into the intake plenum. Doesn't look that crazy, does it? But that again was done by AED with Alex and Dusan putting their hard work and hours into it. Look at that transmission. That's done by Al's Race Glides. So got to give him a big shout out. And TCE converters. Now look at those exhaust pipes. Yeah, big shout to Bruce Agate from Gonzo's Race Pipes. That's a Tri-Y design. Stevan told me that Tri-Y headers pick up awesome torque. Now let's look at the numbers. Now look at those numbers closely. 793 horsepower at only 7,400 RPM and 603 foot-pounds at 5,500 RPM. Now previously he had 433 gears, and I think Simon told me they're going to try 456 gears. So this thing is going to rip and roar. Stay tuned to some numbers and updates. I appreciate it, Stevan, Toth, and Simon, and all you viewers here at DBG, because you're always learning something new at DBG. Have you dreamed before? Lately.